Hi friends, Allison here with AJ's Inspired Life, and today I'm doing some journaling off of a journal prompt, and I thought I'd bring you along. So I just showed you the prompt. I'm working off of Maud's journal prompt list again, and I believe it's still April's list. I have not done very many of them, and she is the first one to say, don't do them all or do them you know, however you want. They don't have to be um, in the order or anything. So I still am working off that list, and the prompt that I showed you, it says make five um, tags and add like sweet words and hang them around your house or put them in your journal. So I'm going to put them in my journal and um, I am just kind of making it what I'm making it. I don't think I chose sweet words necessarily, but we'll see where we'll see where it goes. So I am going through my things and just trying to figure out um, what I'm going to do to even make these. I I didn't want to make them all the same. I have no plan whatsoever. The only thing I found was um, I had gone through my stash and I had all this old planner society stuff. And I had those like cards, those cards used to have, they were like the packaging cards. Um, and so I'm like, I'm just going to use those. So I pulled out my drawer of happy mail and um, I have a magazine there that like was put like in our mailboxes, you know, like a free, I don't know, um, a free magazine. And I pulled out my big scrap drawer or one of my scrap drawers there to, um, to kind of look at, and I'm just brainstorming, um, just trying to figure out what I want to do and, and what I want to include on these. So I'm trying to kind of look for words right now or figure out what I want to put on them. Um, one of them, I know I want to do kind of like a COVID 19 tag, if you will. Um, it's just kind of what is present on my mind right now, obviously, with everything going on. And I want to document in my journaling and in my daily writing um, parts of it. Obviously, not all of it. I don't um, cut out a lot of the, the news or anything like that. But um, Anyway, I wanted it to be present, I guess, in my journal for this time. And so this magazine, as you can see, kind of has, um, I don't really know what the magazine is, to be honest. I didn't read it. Um, I just was like, ooh, I'm going to cut it up and take some of the pictures. So you can see I already cut out one from the very front at like one of the actual COVID things. Um, I'm looking at that paper. I really love that little book. And um, I believe it's Japanese book with Japanese writing, but I like it for backgrounds and stuff. So, um, I thought maybe I'd use some of the text behind one of the tags. I don't know. How do you guys create? I just, um, this is my process. I didn't really have a plan. I know, I know oftentimes I just come on there and watch your guys's videos and you're so organized and just everything laid out. And I'm like, Ooh, that's not how I create. So this is how I I have to kind of just formulate. So I'm actually going through, this is my happy mail drawer, as you saw, and this was a sweet, sweet gift um, from Christy um, a while ago. And I've kept it in this drawer and not really used a lot of the pieces. And so as you guys know, if you um, have watched some of my other videos, I'm trying to use my stuff and not, not hoard it, not hold on to it forever. Um, I'm trying to give it life, you know, if you will. So there was a bunch of painted stuff in there and, um, papers, fun papers and bits and pieces. And I thought I could maybe use, that's another like paper binder that, um, that she made me. I love that wave paper. I'm just pulling that cause I know I'm going to use it for something else. And, um, oh, that's a page from like Alice in Wonderland book. And that's going to find a home. So I already know I'm going to rip some of those up and just use those. But you can see that's a really fun way to keep things too. If you guys don't um, kind of already do that, you know, if you just grab a bunch of papers and kind of make a, a signature out of them, if you will, um, not sewing them, but maybe tying them loosely in the middle, then you have a whole bunch. Uh, I've showed you that in another previous video of like kind of organizing and using stuff around your house to kind of... Um, keep some of the paper in. So, um, it's always nice to have a bunch of different things to choose from, right? Different textures or colors or, um, you know, prints, 
any anything like that. Look at that beautiful napkin. I believe that came from Karen. Um, yeah, so some of these, like, I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll use a piece, right? Because, um, and so much of this is just fun to go through. And that colorful piece at the top right there is um, a piece of wrapping paper that wasn't Happy Meal that was in my stash. I don't know why it's in this drawer necessarily, but um, I, I love it. And it's one of those things that, like, we had a roll of it and I wrapped it on gifts and whatever. And then that was a piece that was, I mean, literally, I think my mom unwrapped her gift or whatever. And I was like, mm, are you going to throw that away? Because I'll be taking that back. And I put it in my scrap drawer because I just think it's funky colors and designs. So going through all the little bits and pieces and I'm separating a little bit like um, that little tab you just saw. I'll put that in my tab drawer. But yeah, that wrapping paper. Oh, so much fun. Piece of a bag. Yep. I'm going to use that as a pocket. I'm already just pulling stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get some use out of it. So, and that I, is so much fun. That paper, it was like an old newspaper. And some of it I just can't bring myself to use. I'm really bad. Um, I saw someone else's video where they, they kind of cut up pieces of it. And I was like, oh, I might be able to do that. Um, a fun piece of acetate, I think, there. And... So I'm just trying to come up with some ideas or, you know, options, I guess, to make tags. I don't know. This has been a week of um, a little extra journal time, if you will, and a little extra time to sit and and just allow it to come, just allow it to create. And, um, and so it's sometimes fun with the prompt to get a little bit of a, a guidance, but then not to be just nailed down to something. I um, put that piece of paper off to the right. You guys just saw it's like an old pattern paper, kind of that brown. I know I know I want to use that because um, we were watching Brooks Live last week and she was making her creepy baby page and, and typed a typed stamped like a COVID um, thing on some paper like that and I at the moment I was like oh I can do that I have the same stamp set somewhere I have to find it but um I'm I didn't know I had that paper so I'm I'm pulling it anticipating that I'm now going to find the stamps um to use so um so I've pulled like two so the little the one off to the left the gold um the actual tag was a tag the gold and white was a tag and then I put the green on top of it. That was the piece of cardstock from the Planner Society. And so I kind of have those colors. Um, those gold stamps I just pulled out of my um, my stash because they are in one of the like American Crafts sticker books. Um, and I don't know which one, but I knew at the time that I would not go in those sticker books looking for alphas. Like, I just know that's not how my brain works. And so I pulled them. Um, and lo and behold, um, now they're right there when I need them, when I need gold letters. So everybody's brain works differently. I find it fascinating. Um, I've watched a couple, you know, craft room tours, if you will, or how I how I organize my crafts. And, and a lot of times I'm like, ooh, that wouldn't work for me. And then other times I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. I have to try it. So I find it fascinating how everyone, you know, their brain kind of works differently because I just, the alphas aren't going to be found really in that, in that sticker pack. So I had to take them out and put them in my alphas. So, um, so yeah, so now I'm just trying to figure out what will fit on this, you know, tag um, the way I want to do it. I've showed you guys this before. This is just an old, whatever, scrapbooking hack. You just, you know, put them on your ruler so you can line them up how you want or space them out or whatever. So I'm just trying to kind of see where I want that. I, um, I had stamped that, that hashtag, if you will. And then, um, and then I'm going to put the stickers on, but I think, yeah, it would show up better on some on some white paper. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. But I'm going to decide not to use the white paper anyway. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess in person it shows up a little bit better. But um, anyway. So here's that magazine. And so I'm kind of 
looking through it and trying to figure out. I know, like, I want some some of the pictures of the actual, you know, COVID coronavirus thing, but there's so many different colors. And so I'm trying to find kind of one size-wise and color-wise. And I'm going to, I think, cut out that doctor if I don't right now. This was interesting just because I'm, see, so that whole half of that section I'm going to cut out. Um, I want that, if you guys can't read it. It's just, um, obviously, as it said, putting it in perspective. And so it had all the different years and then all the different, like, flus and, and outbreaks, right? And like, so where COVID is on that line in terms of numbers and severity and all that. So that I am going to put into my, um, like my Fobonichi and use it, I think as a pocket, um, because it's kind of like the right size, if you will. And I think that again, is just kind of like a piece of history. So this guy, um, I'm cutting out because I think he's kind of the face of the days, the face of the times, if you will, I'm going to use him on a different page. And, um, it's actually another, I ended, I'll show you guys that later. I ended up using him on another journal prompt from Maud, but I just knew in general, I would use him because it's just, um, you know, a kind of, like I said, a current, a current picture of what's happening in our society right now. So, um, so I just, I kind of went with those maroon. I like how they kind of tie into the maroon um, string on the top of the tag. And I think um, that's going to be kind of all I do right now. I think I might add a 19 at some point or something. But this is not a happy tag, if you will, with like an uplifting word. <laughs> so, but it just kind of spoke to me. And again, I feel like I want to document these days, right? And so I want to find different creative ways to do that. And so... Um, just kind of making a tag about it, I felt like was appropriate and, and doable for me. So, um, so I think that's kind of it for that tag. I'm going to, um, I think start on my next one. I can't quite decide. I think I'm still working on a way to stamp 19 or something on here. Um, just trying to figure out. Yeah. So there's my little stamps and, um, I'm just trying to figure out I realized I can't just put COVID on there. So I'm trying to figure out what what size I need to do that. Excuse me while I shut this door. How are you guys documenting this whole thing? I know when I watch some of the videos, I know um I know it seems like a lot of us kind of like aren't watching the news every day. I can't watch the news every day. It gets overwhelming for me. And um you know, I do find myself getting depressed or um, anxious. And, um, so yeah, so there, I put the 19 on there. Um, and, and I feel better when I go out. I know that very clearly. So I talk about it all the time on here. Um, moving my body is one of the ways I help with my, um, you know, emotional well being. We know it's super powerful, right? And so getting outside and moving is super important or staying inside and moving if you want to exercise inside. For me, um, getting outside with vitamin D is super also healthy. So that's something I, um, I definitely do. But also, like when I go to the market and um, like see other people, um, excuse me, I'm yawning, um, see other people and like, that it's not a crisis, right? There's toilet paper on the shelves. There's still food. There's not like it makes, it makes me feel better. And so although I want to document these days and I do process a lot of it, I do a lot of that processing in my other journaling, um, especially like in my morning pages and stuff like that. So this journal and this type of journaling is more about just kind of the expression of what's going on or to represent maybe what's going on, I guess, for me. So when we look back, we can just remember, I guess, but it's part of the way I cope with it also, I guess. So I'm just trying to work on the next tag. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I had that really cute little picture of the Eiffel Tower. I've decided I want to use that, that tag with like the circles on it. And then again, I've cut that that black and white piece is the piece from the Planner Society. So instead of using it as the tag itself, I'm just using it as a mat on the tag, I guess. And that is a little, what is that? Dilutions, 
um, little girl. Crazy, crazy stamp. And then, um, and then I'm going to add my other stamp set has like flowers and vines and it's kind of off to the right there. I don't think I bring it into, um, frame for you, but maybe a little, oh, there we go. So I'm going to use some of those little vines and stuff as like the stuff growing out of her head and, um, and kind of make her have not antlers, but like, I don't know, vines coming out of her head, I guess. So I'm going to stamp some of those on there and use, um, so I'm going to use two different ones, I guess, and put them and put them together. But, um, I have to stamp one and then I have to stamp the other. So, and if you guys, I don't know how much you, everyone's like probably more advanced than I am, but I just stamp one and then I kind of cover up the place. I don't want it to stamp, right. You kind of, I think they call it masking or something. And then, you know, you can stamp again. So I'm covering up the, the part I don't want to have stamped. Right. And then I'm stamping and then it'll look like it cut off when it, you know, it didn't really. So anyway, um, and then I'm going to add one more, I think, kind of like in the middle part or off. So do you guys just like to go down to your room and create? Some days I just go down there and I create and I don't really create anything, but I could just play with my stamps all the time. So I go in waves with my stamps. I go in waves with all of my stuff. So like right now I haven't been scrapbooking at all and I'm really feeling the pull to go back and do that. Um, no, I'll never be caught up. Uh, I gave up that goal long, long time ago and I'm trying to figure out the balance, right, of what I want to do with that. And I've done lots of both. I've done Project Life and I've also done like the traditional pages and I really like both. I mean, I really like both. I wish I was better at combining both, like having regular pages and then having Project Life pages because what I'm not good at is like, first of all, having one page on one side, let's say it's of um, my dog. Like I have a picture of Buddy and it's just like a really cute picture of Buddy. And I just, I'm not great at making one whole page about my dog like sleeping because I feel like I have so many other pictures that I should be scrapbooking, right? But it's a cute picture and I kind of want to document. So I'm not great at, at one, doing that, or two, um, I'm not great at the other page, maybe not matching. Um, does that make sense? So like on one page would be Buddy sleeping and it would be, I don't know, let's say gray and whatever. And then the other page being, I don't know, Easter and whatever and it like not matching so I that's the hard part um for me so when I do project life it's easier to just combine those pages right not I mean not the pages but the pictures right and so you can just have one you can make the whole page kind of coordinate still I guess is what works for me and so I can have one picture of my dog and then one picture of Easter and then one picture of us going out to eat or something and they don't all have to match match but I can coordinate I don't know am I even making sense <laughs> anyway that's me missing scrapbooking so um but I could stamp and like play and make this sort of thing all day long and not really have anything to show for it because like it's taking me like an hour to um obviously make two tags or whatever. So <laughs> so anyway, I've stamped that little girl. I've put her on there. I'm now adding some washi um, to decorate a little bit. That washi is from the Planner Society as well. And I used to be a um, subscriber to the kit. And so, um, and so I have a bunch of that stuff, which again, I hoarded and don't use because it was like, oh, it wasn't the perfect project and it wasn't the perfect thing. And I didn't, you know, um, oh, that's me responding. I'm watching, I don't know who I'm watching, but I'm watching someone live. And so I'm trying to participate at the same time. So, um, that's my dollar glue getting stuck and that's my paper clip. <laughs> I, um, if you guys watched a few videos ago, I, I told you I like use this 
totally cheap glue half the time. I, it's like I bought it for kids projects or whatever, and now it's in the house, right? And so, um, but I have so much. I have, and I have the Aileen's glue, and I and then I have really good like scrapbooking glue. But anyway, I promised myself I wasn't going to buy that glitter glue that everybody has, and I and I want right. And so, um, I wasn't going to buy it until I used up this glue, which may never happen, honestly. But um, Anyway, I was going to wait and I wanted it last year. And then this year I was going to go to the scrapbook show and um, that is in the end of May. And I promised myself I would not buy it until I went to that show. And now here we are with the COVID-19 and I'm not going to get the glitter glue. So it's things like that that stick in my craw and then it makes me mad. So um there are way more serious issues out there and we have other serious issues that like it's impacting our life in major ways, but me not getting my glitter glue this year <laughs> as my reward that I promised myself I was, I was going to wait a year to get, um, is frustrating. So I'm trying to figure out how to finish off that tag and what to put on the top there. That was a little, um, what I call material worm from Elizabeth. She sews those cute little things. Um, and I have a few left, and so, um, but it didn't quite match. So this is my little um, bag of, what do you call that, baker's twine or whatever. And so I'm just going to get out a couple different colors and um, and tie them on there. And then um, kind of bring in the colors from the tape that I use, the red and the gray. And um, I love that tape. And some of the colors that she did and some of the, the artwork she did on that is just really beautiful. I, um, I'm actually going to get rid of some of my kits that I bought because I've just never used them and I'm never going to use them. And I just, I want them to go to someone that will use them. So, um, I'm going to put some stickles on her lips. It's not actually the brand stickles. I do have stickles, but I think that's the Michaels brand, but it's that glitter it's like glitter glue, what glitter glue should be, but it's glitter glue. It's glittery, right? And colorful. So I'm just coloring in her lips and then doing that and adding some color to her. So she, um, so she pops out a little bit. And then I still need to add a word to her, which I don't even think I've done. Um, I wanted to kind of, or maybe, oh, I add that little, I add that little saying. So just trying to figure out what what kind of works, but this is the type of thing like that I could just do, just stamp and doodle, right? And I forgot whose video I was watching last week, but I'll have to go back and back and see. I was watching someone's video and they, oh, I was watching Leanne's video and um, she was watching someone else's video. That's what it was. And she was saying they just stamp a bunch ahead of time instead of getting out all your stamps all the time because I never do, right? They're like in the cupboard, they're in the thing, and I don't know. Um, they stamp a bunch on a piece of paper and just have it ready. And I was like, oh, that that might work for me. And so um, once I have these out now, I've already filmed another video. I just stamped. I got out a bunch of pieces of paper and I just stamped and with no intention or no, right. Um, I did do, I posted on Instagram. If you guys saw, I did go ahead and stamp out a couple sets of dates with different numbers. And I went ahead and colored those like watercolored the background and whatnot, but then I did do some more. So I think I'll go ahead and post that video also. It's just like stamping, but, um, I think that's a good idea, at least for me. I think that I think that will work because I don't want to dig through my stamps and find this one thing that you know. It's like um, it's like cutting out anything else, like from a magazine, right, or something. It's just like, oh, it's fun to cut that picture out and glue it in your book. Well, that picture, that thing, that shape, that whatever, can just be something you already stamped on paper. Um, and some people cut them out and have them like in little things already. I don't do that. I just leave them on the paper just like I would kind of a magazine piece of paper, right? Or something. I mean, if I want one little, I don't know. It just depends on the page. But on the page. But for the most part, I, um, I want to leave them and not have to cut them all up and sort them into little boxes. So 
So we'll see. I'm just adding um, like some glitter to her eyes and um, trying to add some color there, kind of figuring out. And then I'm just going to bring in some color to that that tag as well. I'm not I'm not in love with this tag, but um, but it's fun. It's just for fun, right? It's just decoration. And um, I was thinking they they would be fun to hang like around your house or something like little affirmations and stuff like that. And so these two obviously are taking me like this hour um, to figure out. And so I might um, on the next ones make some affirmation tags. We'll see. But I'm going to pop these two into my journal. So um, that's her and we're all done. And there's the quote. You guys can read that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So there are my two tags out of five, but um, that's my creation today. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I hope you find something that inspires you and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.